Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video I'm going to be covering WPS Hide Login. This is a plugin that allows you to modify the WordPress login URL, which can reduce brute force attacks. So briefly what this does, whenever you go to your WordPress admin panel to login, you go to wp-login.php, and that's where your login processing takes place. Uh, what this plugin does is it allows you to rename it to any URL that you wish. So instead of wp-login.php, it could be renamed to, let's just say, um, front door. So you go to your website, followed by front door, and that would allow you to log into your WordPress admin panel. The process here is relatively simple. Because the URL is not a common standard URL that's supplied by WordPress, those who are trying to brute force your website won't be able to access that URL. Now, in certain themes and in certain configurations, this can cause problems. Uh, number one, sometimes if you use this, if your theme has a model login, which is where it has a little button, you click login and it pops up with the login menu, sometimes that functionality may not work if you modified this URL. So you have to test this to make sure that nothing breaks. If it doesn't break though, you're in a really good spot to be able to modify where users can log in and to reduce the brute force attacks on your website. Another key thing I want to point out is when you change the URL and somebody goes to wp-login.php, they will be sent to a 404 page. I'm gonna show you this here in a second. The reason that this matters is because when they get sent to a 404 URL, it will in turn hammer the server a little bit. This is primarily because most servers are not set up to, they're just not set up to cache the 404 pages because it treats them like an error page. And if the 404 page isn't cached, you could be sending a lot of bots to an uncached URL, reducing some of the immediate impact on your server resources. So keep that in mind. Um, but what we have here is you have the settings panel for WPS hide login. When you click it, it just takes you to the general screen. Uh, I honestly have no idea why they decided to add a menu. <laughs> it's kind of a waste in my opinion because it doesn't have its own settings panel, but it went ahead and added one anyways. So as you can see here, it modified the default login URL to login. I'm gonna call this front door because I liked that. And um, the, it'll send somebody who goes to wp-login.php to a 404 if they do it. You can change this URL if you want to send them to the home page or if you want to troll the bots. You could set up a page where it's just an empty page with a bot and you could actually set up a script or a honeypot to track the data and send it to the honeypot project. Or you could set up the page and put some kind of mining script on there if you had a crypto oriented website and try to waste the CPU cycles on the bot. This would in turn shut the bot offline so long as it was supporting JavaScript, which it has to if it's trying to use the WordPress login page. But so we go over here and now we change it to front door. And I'm going to show you what happens by logging myself out and trying to go to wp-login.php. I'm also going to copy this URL because I'll probably forget when I try to go to it directly. So here's what happened. Um, it logged me out and it sent me to front door, but I'm going to go to wp-login.php. Dot PHP and I expect to go to a 404 page and I did it sent me directly to my 404 screen It says it cannot access that URL, but if I go to front door It will now take me to the standard WordPress login screen This is very effective at basically killing all brute force attacks But remember it can cause functionality issues with certain themes and certain configurations also if you don't remember the URL you're gonna have a hard time getting back in. You have to go then into your cPanel or your file manager and disable the plugin to gain access to the default login screen. Uh, this is very important as too if you have a single sign-on functionality. Uh, certain hosts like Bluehost, you can go into your admin panel and click the login to WordPress and it'll just send you over there. That functionality may not work anymore if you enable this plugin. And if you get yourself locked out, you could cause issues. So just be wary of how you're logging in and remember that there can be issues that arise. Otherwise, this plugin is great at what it does. It I've used it before on clients who've requested it. it. Works great, never had any issues. My only one suggestion would be for them to remove the extra settings panel URL 
and either add it under the plugin list or just include it in the plugin description so that way there's just not another piece of clutter that doesn't actually amount to anything. If you have any questions about this plugin, you can please, as always, ask in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. Otherwise, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.